Hi, I'm Martin at Octo Inkjet, and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to refill a PGI 29 or a Pro 1 cartridge for the Canon Pro 1. So what we have in our kit is a Squeezy V cap, which is attached to our bottle of ink. What this is, is a female lure adapted cap. It means that you can actually connect your syringe directly to this adapter. If I just take the cover off, adapter there, and you no longer need to use a long needle because you can just tip the bottle over with the syringe attached, as we'll show in just a second. So that's the Squeezy V cap with your ink. These caps have a liner, which is waterproof, and that protects the cap and stops leakage. If that, cap, if that liner is missing, you don't want to just put the cap on and forget about it because it will leak everywhere. So make sure you have those. There will be spare liners in with your refill kit. Okay, so make sure your liner is in a refill adapter, a 50 to 60 mil syringe, or a capacity syringe. This one's Lua Lock, doesn't need to be, it can be Lua Slip or Lua Lock, doesn't matter. We have a set of scales. These ones are 200 gram capacity. 100 gram capacity will do in this particular instance, but 200 grams is probably gonna be a little bit better if you decide to upgrade to a Pro 1000. So that's our refill kit. So how do you do this? So first thing you do, empty anything out of your syringe, like air as much as you can. Obviously you will have cleaned this already. So assuming you've done that, just take a piece of kitchen towel or something like that and press it like that into a bit of kitchen towel so that most of the stuff's out, okay? Then you take your Squeezy V capped bottle, attach your syringe while it is upright, like so. Then you turn it over like this and draw out 40 mil. In this case, I'm gonna take out around about 45 mil of ink. I'm just gonna get rid of that air bubble there, back into the bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna take about 45, just under 45, just over, sorry, 45 grams or milliliters. Turn it back over and release. And that means I've got about 45, nearly 50 mil of ink in there. Next up, attach our adapter, like so. And now we take our cartridge. Now before you actually start, it's a good idea to actually check to see how much ink might already be in there. Now an empty cartridge is around about 43 grams. So using our scales, we're just gonna check. And this particular cartridge is currently sitting at 45. So it's got a little bit of ink left in it. So um, our maximum or the target weight we're looking for is 84 grams. So we're gonna be putting about 39 milliliters of ink in there, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind. Right, so we attach our syringe to cartridge. Make sure you can see the measurements on the front here. And then slowly inject your Ink, that's 10, 20, 30. Now I'm getting bulging, so I'm pretty sure there's some air in here. I'm gonna just pull back on that a little bit. Move the cartridge up, right? Yeah, there's a little bit in there. And then we put a bit more in. And if you're starting to get feel bulging around here as you're holding the cartridge, chances are it's a little bit over full. So don't force it. Pull back a little bit. Withdraw the adapter and the cartridge needle or the, the adapter. Make sure your scales are on. And weigh your cartridge. So we are sitting at 70, just shy of 75.5 grams. So that means we've got about another eight mil of ink that we can fit in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put another eight in. Just hold this level. It's about five. And I'd say we're about there. Pull back a little bit for any air that might be in there. Remove the adapter and the syringe and weigh it again. That's now sitting at 85. So we've gone a tiny bit over. 
Not that it should make any difference, but let's be careful about this. Just pull back a tiny bit. And try again. <laughs> a tiny bit too much. Right, one mil in, oh, just spilling a little bit of the ink over there. There you go. That hopefully will be sitting, yeah, bang on, 84 grams. Now, you don't really need to be worrying about that too much. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes, but 84 grams is your target weight. What you don't want is a lot of positive pressure in here, so you definitely don't want to be looking at 90, 95 grams because the bag will be bulging, and positive pressure pushing ink into the printer probably wouldn't be a good thing. Do be careful to remove any air just at the end by keeping your cartridge upright like this, sticking the adapter in and just gently pulling anything out like that, okay? Um, and that should do it. You may need to tip the cartridge a tiny bit like this each way just to make sure it's moving and pull it out. Small bubbles of air aren't gonna be a problem. Okay, so that is how you refill a Pro One cartridge using Octo Inkjet refill tools and ink. In terms of cleaning up, disconnect your, your adapter, Gently press your bottle a tiny bit in so it's got a bit of negative pressure. Reattach your syringe and then just squidge it all back in. Then just clean up your adapter, clean up your syringe, flush it out and things and place your cap cover back on your bottle of ink and that's ready for next time. And that's pretty much it. That's your cartridge refilled. We'll do a separate video for how to deal with the chips on these um, if you decide to actually um, replace them. So that's all. If you've got any questions, please do use the comment section below or email us using the contact details we've left in the description um, and we'll be happy to help. Other than that, please give us a thumbs up and a like and please subscribe to the channel if you think any of our other material might be of use in the future. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.